Okay, if I can't be reasonable with you guys to leave, I'm going to start a fight. Okay. Okay. So we, uh, we made the fight for Jeremy in the season. You know, we have extras where he comes to Jack. Um, you know, we're more rundown teams. Um, he's a bigger body, longer body. Uh, you know, he outweighs uh, the traditional Jack, so that in the run game, he's a big asset to us. Um, you know, we try and keep to his strengths when he's out there. Um, he was a DM before. We want to keep him on the edge. We want to keep him with his hand in dirt and doing stuff that, you know, pertains to his abilities. And, you know, uh, we've asked him to drop him. He's done a good job doing that, too. Chance, what do you think of the job that Jalen Walker's done that you guys hung up on him in the second round? The second round is an asset in the fight going back and forth between those two spots. Yeah, it's a different mindset between both of them. You know, he does a good job of, you know, um, keeping them separate in his mind, kind of. Because um, on third down, he goes down, comes to Jack, comes to in. He's able to rush around the rabbit groups. And um, first second down, he's grown and become a real a little linebacker. And, you know, he's starting to become a leader in that room. And also, in our room, when he comes over and pass rushes. These guys in practice and, and having your tight end how, how do they compare with other tight ends that you see throughout the season? They're fast. Um, Dell, Jaden, uh, Lucky, you know, they're probably the best route runners we go against. Uh, might not be as big as other tight ends, but they have the technique to back it up. They get their hands inside, they get to your chest plate really easily. You know, Coach Harley does a great job of teaching them how to use their strengths and, you know, know their weaknesses and play to that. Um, you know, and we use them a lot in different situations than other people use them. Like, we run more routes with our tight ends. We don't stay in and max protect a lot. You know, we give them the opportunities to showcase their talents. How competitive those practices? Are they run, I'm, I'm asking because Oscar's talked about how competitive you are and how much you compete for those, those reps. Yeah, you know, I claim to win every single run, and then Dill claims to win every single pass because, you know, um, he's faster than me, and I'm stronger than him. So it's kind of a switch off, and, you know, it's uh, it's always competition, and we both have our realms of what we claim to be our best attributes. Um, you know, I just don't like losing either one of them. Yeah, Chess, you've been kind of well-known as a high upper guy. You're working at these pretty well-established. He's a guy you might go up against in practice when it's on the other side of the ball that you recognize as like, every time I see this guy, I'm going to get the best of him. Uh, Tate Ratledge, um, Carson Beck, uh, Ernest Green, um, you know, and there's plenty of others. Um, those are just the ones that pop straight to mind. You know, Tate's always going to control that right side, no matter how it is, if he's helping the tackle. Um, if he's checking any inside blocks, like you, if you beat a tackle inside, he's going to help him. He's always going to be there. Uh, Ernest, you know, just always brings his A game. Um, you know, obviously him starting last year a single game, he's he's one of our, he's one of our best tackles. And um, if you're going to win against him, you have to bring your best every single time. Yeah, Chaz, just what have you seen out of David Wilson if he continues to I think physically he's grown a lot this offseason. You know, last year he weighed 230. This year he's weighing 240. Um, putting more muscle on his frame, you know, obviously allows him to do more stuff in the run game. Uh, being able to set more edges, you know, mentally he's been able to take what we do as a defense and, you know, expand his mind to not just pass rush, but also coverage and in the run game doing stunts. Kaz, this is the second straight year you've been that older guy. So how much more comfortable do you feel this year with You know, I think I had great leaders in front of me that taught me how to lead. Um, Nolan, Bill, all those guys, they just taught me what it meant to be a leader in that room. Um, you know, it's not necessarily just being over controlling, but being somebody that the guys can look to as advice. Um, you know, giving them advice that they might not otherwise have that comes with experience. And, you know,
know, just trying to take over that room and hold everybody accountable to it. It's hard. Y'all brought in a pretty unique outside linebacker in Quintavious. Um, just what have you seen in him so far in this spring? You know, he just wants to learn. Um, he's in meetings writing everything down. Um, you know, and our defense does not come easy to mind. Um, and we have to drop 50% of the time, stop the run 50% of the time, and pass rush the other 50% of the time. So, <laughs> um, for those new guys, it's all about how bad you want to learn. It's not more physically. Right now, the spring is everybody mentally for those freshmen. Just go and get a job. All right. Is that your thoughts? <coughs> Chaz, what are you looking to get better at in spring? What are the areas you want to improve on? Um, I want to improve. I want to improve in the run game. My hands. I have a tendency to use my head in striking blocks. Separation because I've realized in some of the games that I would get caught up on some tackles because I like to get my chest as far as past the mat. Um, you know, in the past game, I'm winning more efficiently and, and run out of situations when it is past, convert me in the past, and um, you know, just trying to get all the guys around me too to, you know, be united as one defense because we have a bunch of young guys. Um, you know, just develop where we are as a defense and create identity. Chase Kirby. Nathan last night, who was telling stories about playing days and what a great athlete Chase Kirby was. In the course of that, you know, the week trying to set a record for power cleaning the creek that game, you know, he had to get that up. Can you put it in perspective just how much weight that is for uh, any guy to lift? I guess much less for a smart side of the player. But what does it mean to have a coach uh, that, that played at this level and ran all SEC honors? Is there an extra to that when you speak to new guys? Um, you know, 315, um, for anybody that hasn't power cleaned that or power cleans regularly, just put on try and deadlift it. Um, you know, imagine throwing that in the air at that. Um, you know, especially his size, I don't know what he was, maybe 200 pounds, maybe, in college. Um, you know, that's almost twice his body weight. Um, some people can't even do a pull up with their own body weight, so, um, but. Going back to coaches that have experience in college, um, especially him, uh, you respect him a lot more because he knows what you went through. Um, you know, they might say he was different back in the day, but it's still football. Um, you know, you always respect somebody that's been through what you've been through instead of somebody that, you know, maybe just no stuff on the board. Um, you know, personally, I know my coach, he played at Colorado all four years. I uh, was a letterman and everything. And, um, you know, I respect him because he gives me advice that I might not know from the experience that he had in college. Kirby talked about the new team motto of assume nothing. Just what does that mean to you? Going into the season, not thinking about what happened in the past, not thinking about what happened in the ACC last year. Um, everybody's saying, you know, this team can get three or whatever. Just not about the past. Um, right now we're just assuming that Nothing is given to us, which we know everybody, we get everybody's best. Um, you know, and just taking every single detail that you have and can take advantage of, not assuming that uh, the person beside you knows what they're doing and holding them accountable too. So, you know, it's just paying attention to all the little details, not taking things for granted. Hey, Chaz, I would assume you want to play football as long as you can. Have you given any thought to what you might want to do? Um, right now, I'm going to school trying to go into physical therapy. Um, I also been thinking about maybe going uh, the MMA route. Uh, you know, like or you're intrigued about MMA? Uh, I've been cross training for the past three off seasons. Uh, coach was testing for hands and body position and all that. And I was just like, to ask you a uh, Trevor. Uh, let's ask another one of the, the younger guys in, in Pemba. You know, that was a guy that, that obviously was on fire going into spring last year. How has Pemba progressed over the season, and, and how is he looking at spring now after a, a full year of uh, getting practice and, and training time? You know, physically he's there. He came in ready physically. Um, it's the mental aspect that he's matured in the most. Um, you know, he can sit in meetings and call out coverages and 
what his, his responsibilities are, what other people's responsibilities are. Uh, you know, and that just gives confidence to himself and also to us as a defense that he knows what he's, what he's doing and that can go out and execute. Zach, one more question. Have you fought any MMA bouts yet, or is it, has it been any sparring? And secondly, they're talking about uh, weight room stuff. Can you give us some weight room numbers, squat, bench, power clean, deadlift, stuff like that? Um, yeah, I just training. I'm not sure how that goes with NCAA about bouts or anything like that. Health and info, whatever. Um, just training and, you know, just trying to carry over that into my game. You know, there's multiple pros that have done it. You know, most recently, Max Crosby, he's talked about it. Um, you know, I just think it helps my game tremendously. And um, weight room numbers, I think bench is 435. Squat, like, five. Okay, so I'll squat five as well. Deadlift? Uh, we don't deadlift. Deadlift. Thank you, Chaz. Thanks, Thanks Chaz. Thank you. 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 Thank you.